pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Chapter 12, Changing Your Own Reality I put this chapter last so that you would have learned everything you need to know in order to change your own reality on purpose. At this point, this chapter isn't really necessary except to give you some specific techniques that have been used by others in reality creation. First, you must recognize that there is a difference in the two main types of reality. There are only two things that you need to accomplish to change your reality. Number one, you have to know or have awareness of the idea of it. Second, you have to move yourself from wanting it to believing it to knowing it. When you reach the state of knowing that the ability is yours, then it is. Often, changing the reality of a situation is just a matter of reframing it. That is to say, changing your perspective of it changes the meaning of it. As soon as the meaning has changed, your reality has changed. Reality is not constant in any way, shape, or form. Even in the seemingly unchanging field of physics, it is now a strong belief that even the laws of nature are changing. To be clear, I'm not saying that we are changing how we see the laws of nature, that it's our view that is changing, but the evidence now supports the idea that the laws that were true yesterday may be different today. The actual laws, rules, and parameters of physics are changing over time. In this next video example, a professor of physics at the Imperial College London gives a lecture on the changing laws of physics. Video example. The laws of physics are changing. What is this video about? In this video example, a professor of physics at Imperial College London tries to explain that we are now realizing that the laws of nature and physics aren't the fixed and unchanging ideas that we have come to believe. He states, quote, I'm not saying that the laws of physics are changing because we have made a mistake with our perception of the laws that have changed. I mean the laws themselves are changing. He continues, what we are saying is that the universe is making things up as we go. The rules themselves could actually be changing in time. The idea that physics is changing means that there is no unchangeable super law. Unquote. In his own words, he says, So by this I should warn you, I mean, this is not, I'm not saying the laws of physics change because we realize we made a mistake, and therefore with our perception of the laws of physics change. I mean the laws themselves changing, and this is a really kind of controversial thing. What you're saying is that the universe is making things up as it goes along. That there is this idea that you know, the universe evolves, and the rules it uses for uh, its development, the rules themselves could actually be changing in time. So the idea that physics might be changing is that there is no such unchangeable super law. Physics is based on the speed of light and the fact that it is a constant and unchanging. This means that if the speed of light is not constant and is in fact a variable, the ramifications are profound. For best results, Pause this video at this point here, and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter, and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, 
You will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. This idea isn't a new one. Paul A. M. Dirac, who was the Nobel Prize winner in physics in 1933, wrote a paper in 1930 during his honeymoon of all times. He stated that all the models of the universe are probably wrong. It is usually assumed that the laws of nature have always been the same as they are now. There is no justification for this. The laws may be changing and particular quantities that may be considered to be constants of nature, for example, the speed of light, may be varying in cosmological time." Unquote. What does this example show and what does it mean? This video example shows that not only are the physicists now scrambling to make sense of the idea that the laws of physics could be changing before their eyes, but the idea was first postulated as far back as 1930. However, we don't need to measure the speed of light to know that the laws of physics are changing. We can just look at the many examples of amazing feats accomplished by people down through the ages. It doesn't take a PhD in physics to realize this. All anyone has to do is read this book, and it will become clear that not only are the laws of nature and physics changing, but they are potentially individually different for every single person on this planet. What about the woman who had her fingers in the candle flame for 10 minutes, which was witnessed by several people, including a doctor, who actually timed the event? There is no explanation that can be given that justifies this result in terms of the laws of nature and physics. What about the man who poured molten lead in his mouth until it cooled? How can physics explain a mouthful of hot metal that is three times hotter than boiling water, and yet there was no injury to the soft tissue and delicate flesh in his mouth? Now, the physicists are realizing and recognizing that the outcome of their experiments are greatly influenced by the observers. They should stop changing the experiments and instead start changing the observers. This is a wild idea that makes perfect sense in today's physics. In a world that has as many different realities as people who perceive them, the experiment is not testing reality in general, but instead is testing the specific reality of the experimenter. All along, the experimenters have been scientists of similar beliefs and they were creating similar results. Instead, why not look for people who have a different reality, such as those who can hold hot lead in their mouth? That would make for very interesting results. It is not the experiment that is in question, it is the experimenter. What if the experimenter were hypnotized to believe in a different set of physical laws? How would that affect the outcome of the experiment? To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 12. Segment number two. Let your quest for knowing continue.